Hello class, in this video we're gonna talk about groups and how to interact with your group. So um, this is a general video, dependent, you could be in many of my different classes or you might just be new to Canvas online learning in general. And the easiest way to get to your groups is there's actually a group panel on here which isn't on mine because I'm an instructor. It's not showing up right now. Um, but you should also be able to get to it when you go to people and you go over to project groups. You should be able to see your group here as well. The groups feature allows you to work in small groups with your classmates to collaborate on assignments, projects, and presentations. To access all groups in which you are a member, click the groups link in global navigation. To visit a group home page, click the name of the group. You can also access course specific groups directly from your course. In course navigation, click the people link, then click the groups tab, or in the options drop down menu, click the view user groups link. On the groups page, you will see a list of all course groups. To view a group home page, click the visit link. You can only access groups in which you are a member. The group home page includes a group navigation menu to access group features, a group content area that displays recent activity, and a sidebar with links to edit the group and create a group announcement and a group coming up feed. Your instructor may use groups to organize assignment submissions. Group assignment submissions are similar to regular assignment submissions. However, your instructor may require one submission for the entire group or request that each group member submit the assignment individually. You can also create and participate in discussions and collaborations within a group. Discussions allow you to create and participate in discussions with members of your group. Collaborations allow you to create shared documents with members of your group. So, so within each group, there is a group homepage and the group homepage looks just like our normal class. So make if it says group up here, that means you're on your group homepage. And this is where you can do discussions and make pages, uh, post announcements, all sorts of things. But this discussion section is unique to your specific group. It's not for the whole class, it's for your specific group. So while you, when you go up here to the course navigation, you actually have to leave and go back to the main course to where you'll get back to our general discussion, which is for our entire class. So you see there the difference between the group homepage and the homepage for, your, um, for the main course as well. The other really easy way to communicate with your group is through the inbox tool through the global navigation. Remember, you have your course navigation, which is here, and you have your global navigation on the left side, all the way far left. And when you click the inbox button here, it should look like this. I went ahead and clicked this button where my mouse is moving in the upper right hand corner to compose a new message. I've selected this particular course that I'm teaching in summer 2020, but it doesn't matter what course it is, just find your courses or select a course, you might have it something else. Um, so find the course you want where you're in this group project. And then you can click the address book over here and go to student groups. And for example, if I wanted student group one, I can go ahead and click that group and click all in project group, or I can email an individual person within that group and go ahead and do all in that group. And then you can say, you know, start typing an email, hello group. It's, it's whether you want to, you want the whole group to know you emailed everyone or you want it to seem like you mail in, you emailed everyone individually, like one at a time. It'll look like you emailed everyone one at a time like this, but if it's a group, I like to not do that. So we're all in a group email together. So I leave that unchecked and then go ahead and write the body of your email. You can add an attachment or recording and then go ahead and press send. So this is another way that'll, that should, as long as the other students have set up their inboxes and their default emails, should get sent to their inbox where they will get the message directly. Um, if other students have their notifications set up, they will also get, um, for example, if you go to your notifications, depending on what you have on your notification setup, 
Some of these notifications will help when group members do post something in your discussion. For example, your discussion uh, reminders. How often are you getting it? Do you want to notify me right away? That might be a good way to get alerted for any kind of new discussion. I hope this helped you out. Please let me know if you have any questions.